This is the house of Mohamed Zaki Makhlouf, a 62-year-old Egyptian retiree in the province of Fayoum. Makhlouf has recently accepted the offer to have a locally manufactured solar water heater installed on his rooftop. I did not think twice when the company's representative approached me. I told them they could come and install it. There is no harm in doing such a thing, neither to me nor to others. Makhlouf heads an 11-member household in an Egyptian village. For the first time, his family may have access to a direct source of hot water. Shamsina's team arrived in Makhlouf's house to carry out the mission. In the winter, I eat up water three or four times a day. My mother-in-law has feet issues, so every time she washes before prayers, she needs hot water. And she needs hot water five times a day. I also eat up water to bathe my children every other day. When we first noticed um, this problem, we became very curious about how common it is and we dug up national data and we found that about half of households across Egypt are estimated to use uh, manual methods for heating water. Shamsina, which is incubated at Harvard Innovation Labs, has so far piloted 30 water eaters in different low-income neighborhoods across Egypt. Solar water eaters will not be able to take up a significant market share in Egypt. They can take up no more than 30% of the market. And they cannot save up a lot of energy or reduce a lot of em emissions. However, they can guarantee some form of empowerment. With solar water heaters, we will be able to provide access to hot water in places that never had this privilege, and that is very important. For Egypt to reach its vision 2030, the country's government has embarked on policies aimed at utilizing its renewable energy resources.